He's been called the Egyptian Messi by Italian media. Jose Mourinho said he had similar qualities to Gareth Bale and Aryan Robin. But at the age of 25 in 2017, Mohamed Salah has shed those comparisons and emerged as one of the most exciting attackers in football today, utilizing his blistering pace and ability to turn on a dime to leave defenders in his wake. What's up? My name is Adrian from Rabona TV, and just before we continue with Mo Salah, I just wanted to let you know that we have a playlist full of bios on the most exciting players and managers in the game right now. Plus an in-depth statistical news and stats show once the season kicks off. Please come back to us, football. And of course, in the off-season, we always do transfers on a Friday, so hit that subscribe button and enjoy the video. Mohamed Salah Ghali was born in Basyoun El Garbia, Egypt, on June 15, 1992. Another footballer who you may be familiar with, Ahmed El Mohamedi, is also from the city that lies 100 kilometers north of Cairo. Salah started playing football at the age of seven on concrete, with his pitch being an old road and the fence of an old school. The players that he would try to emulate while playing on that concrete pitch were the likes of Ronaldo, Zidane, and Totti, a man he would play alongside later in his career, well, when Spalletti would play him. He played for a club called Arab Contractor as a left back, and wasn't short on commitment to the team, as it took him no less than five buses to get to his club. That commitment would pay off, of course, and it was at the age of 14 in 2006 when Mohamed started to believe in himself and thought that there was a possibility of playing football for a living. Perhaps his self-belief was spurred on by his signing on with the youth team of Egyptian club El Mokaloun, which is located in Nazar City, Cairo. This is where he would meet current Arsenal player and friend Mohamed El Neni. El Neni would actually follow Salah from Egypt to Basel and then from Basel to the Premier League as well. Salah made his senior debut for El Mokaloun on the 3rd of May 2010 after he was substituted into the match in what would be a 1-1 draw against El Mansoura. In the following season, he established himself as a regular in the starting 11, and on Christmas Day in 2010, he scored his first goal for the senior side against Al Ali. He continued to thrive at El Mokaloun and played in every single match possible in the 2011-2012 season. However, due to the Port Said Stadium disaster, that season would only last until February 1st, 2012 when it was suspended, and it was cancelled just a month later on March 10th, 2012. In case you aren't familiar, the Port Said Stadium disaster occurred on February 1st following a match between Al Mazri and Al Ali. Al Mazri won the match 3-1. And, after the final whistle, groups of their fans rushed the field to bottle the Al Ali players and attack the Al Ali supporters section armed with knives, clubs, stones, bottles, and fireworks. To give you an idea of how little chance the Al Ali fans had, they were outnumbered 13,000 to 1,200. Though, of course, not all Al Mazri fans attacked. In total, 74 people were killed. 500 injured, 73 were arrested, 46 convicted, and 21 sentenced to death. Truly an awful moment in football's history. But back to Salah, it was also in 2012 when teams would start to take real notice of him. A lot of that was undoubtedly due to him winning both the Union of Arab Football Association's Golden Boy Award and the Confederation of African Football's Most Promising Talent of the Year Award. One of those clubs that had taken a liking to Salah was FC Basel from Switzerland. Following the Port Said disaster, they hosted a friendly against the Egypt U23 team given that most of the players were unable to play competitive matches thanks to the suspension of the league. During the match, Salah came in as a second-half substitute, but managed to score two goals in a 4-3 win for the Egypt under-23s. His performance was all the proof they needed that he was worth pursuing and invited him to train with the squad for another week. Less than one month after the friendly, Salah signed a four-year contract with Basel. His first match for the club was a friendly against Stau Bucharesti, scoring in a 4-2 defeat. His first competitive match for Basel was against Mold on August 8, 2012, in a UEFA Champions League qualifying playoff. His Swiss League debut came on the 12th of August against Thun, and his first goal came a week later. His solid play would continue, adding another goal the following week, with strong performances all season. Where he truly made his mark though was in the Europa League as he scored his first Europa League goal in the quarterfinals against Tottenham Hotspurs as Basel went on to eventually win in a shootout. Perhaps the performance that truly started to seal his footballing fate though was in the semi-finals as Salah managed to score a goal against Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. Chelsea would go on to win 5-2 on aggregate but it's safe to say that heads were definitely turned in Salah's direction. If not then, then he would certainly have their full attention in the following season as Chelsea and Basel were drawn into the same Champions League group. But before that, it was also in the Champions League where Salah found himself in the middle of a controversy. In a two-legged Champions League qualifier against Maccabi Tel Aviv, Salah refused to shake the hands of the Maccabi players. Now, pre-match handshakes are not just a tradition, but also mandated by UEFA and considered mandatory. 
This was viewed as a disrespectful snub by many Israeli news outlets, and Egyptian officials warned against Salah traveling for the away leg of the qualifier. But he traveled, he played, and he fist bumped before the match, still refusing to offer an open hand to the Maccabi players. But back to the group stage of the Champions League against Chelsea, Salah scored the equalizer in what would be a 2-1 win. And in the reverse fixture, he scored again in what was a 1-0 win against Chelsea. Three goals against them in four matches was all the convincing that Chelsea needed, and on January 23rd, 2014, they sealed Salah's signature for 11 million pounds, making him the first ever Egyptian player to play for their club. His Premier League debut was February 8th, 2014 against Newcastle, and he scored his first Premier League goal the following month against Arsenal, in that emphatic 6-0 win at Stamford Bridge on March 22nd, 2014. Salah's playing time was reduced drastically, so it came as no surprise in the January transfer window that he was shipped out on loan to Fiorentina. In fact, this loan was part of the deal that facilitated Juan Cuadrado's move to Chelsea. Yes, remember Juan Cuadrado played for Chelsea for a bit? Taking the number 74 shirt at Fiorentina as a salute to the 74 victims of the Port Said Stadium disaster, Mohamed Salah was a perfect fit for Fiorentina, scoring and assisting in his first match for them against Sassuolo. He managed to score 9 goals in 26 appearances, including against Tottenham again in the Europa League again. Though Fiorentina wanted to make the loan move permanent, Salah turned down the offer, instead opting to sign a loan deal with AS Roma with the option to make the move permanent at the end of it. It seems like once Salah scores against you, he has your number. Just ask Chelsea and Tottenham. And you can add Sassuolo to that list as well, as he scored his first Roma goal against them on September 20th, 2015. He ended his first campaign with Roma as their top scorer with 15 goals and 6 assists, and was subsequently named the player of the season. Of course, Roma exercised the option to make his loan deal permanent for the 2016-17 season, and Salah never slowed down. Playing one less match than the previous season, Salah managed to score 19 goals, and the wealthy clubs of England came calling. Roma made their stance clear. We don't want to sell, but if we do, it will be on our terms. So Liverpool fulfilled their terms and made Mohamed Salah their club record signing by paying 42 million euros. Whether he will be a success or not at Liverpool is yet to be determined, as his previous spells with Chelsea yielded only two goals in 19 appearances. But he's come a long way since then, scoring 43 goals in the process, twice what he had in his time leading up to and at Chelsea. Salah has a more complete game and perhaps most importantly, a chip on his shoulder to prove himself in the country he previously struggled in. Thanks so much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and while you're at it, why not check out some of our others? I'll be sure to leave a link in the comment section where I hope to be speaking to some of you. Subscribe, like, and I'll see you soon. Peace!